To sign into the Outlook web app, or OWA, go to the website outlook.office.com. Next, type in your email address and click Next. Finally, type in your password and click Sign In. Once you are signed in to OWA, you will notice that the layout is very similar to Outlook on your computer. In the lower left hand corner, you can toggle between your mail, calendar, contacts, and tasks. On the main page of OWA, you will notice some new features such as Focused Inbox. Focused Inbox acts as an advanced filter that prioritizes important messages and sends the less important messages to the other inbox. You can easily move messages to and from your focused inbox by simply right-clicking a message and then clicking Move to Other Inbox, or by clicking Always Move to Other Inbox, all future messages from that sender will go to the Other Inbox. The process works inversely when moving messages from the Other Inbox back to your focused inbox. You can easily disable your focused inbox by clicking the filter drop down menu and then deselecting the show focused inbox. Another new feature of OWA is groups. Groups let you choose a certain set of people you wish to collaborate with and it allows you to seamlessly share files and information within that group. It also grants permission to all the members within the group to edit all the documents and files that are shared. To add a new group, select the plus icon. Then name your group and add a description. You can then choose to make your group public or private. Then click create. From here, you can add members to your group. OWA now allows you to incorporate the same add-ins you use on your Outlook on your PC. To add an add-in, click the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and select Manage Add-ins. From here you can manage your add-ins. To keep current with content and updates from other services, you can use OWA's connectors. Once again, click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen and select Manage Connectors. From here you can add and manage your connectors. To reset your password, click on your name in the upper right hand corner of the page and then select My Account. Then click on Security and Privacy and finally, select Password. On this page, type your old password in once, followed by your new password twice, and then click Submit, and your password will update. This is Max Frankel with the Protected Trust Training Department, and we'll see you next time.